And when the FBI interviews him, he lies three times, and yet you don't charge him with a crime. You charge Rick Gates for false statements. You charge Paul Manafort for false statements. You charge Michael Cohen with false statements. You charge Michael Flynn, a three-star general, with false statements. But the guy who puts the country through this whole saga starts it all for three years we've lived this now. He lies, and you guys don't charge him. And I'm curious as to why. Well, I can't get into it, and, uh, and it's obvious, I think, that we can't get into charging decisions. When the FBI interviewed him in February, FBI interviews him in February, when the special counsel's office interviewed Mifsud, did he lie to you guys, too? Can't get into that. Did you interview Mifsud? Can't get into that. Is Mifsud Western intelligence can't or Russian intelligence? That. Can't get into that. A lot of things you can't get into. What's interesting, you can charge 13 Russians no one's ever heard of, no one's ever seen, no one's ever going to hear of them. No one's ever going to see them. You can charge them. You can charge all kinds of people who are around the president with false statements. But the guy who launches every, the guy who puts this whole story in motion, you can't charge him. I think I'm that's certain, amazing. I'm not certain, I, I, I'm not certain I uh, agree with your characterizations. Well, I'm reading from your report. Mifsud told Papadopoulos. Papadopoulos tells the diplomat. The diplomat tells the FBI. The FBI opens the investigation July 31st, 2016. And here we are three years later, July of 2019. The country's been put through this. And the central figure who launches it all lies to us. And you guys don't hunt him down and interview him again. And you don't charge him with a crime. Now, here's the good news. Here's the good news. The president was falsely accused of conspiracy. The FBI does a 10-month investigation, and James Comey, when we deposed him a year ago, told us at that point they had nothing. You do a 22-month investigation. At the end of that 22 months, you find no conspiracy. And what's the Democrats want to do? They want to keep investigating. They want to keep going. Maybe a better course of action, maybe a better course of action is to figure out how the false accusation started. Maybe it's to go back and actually figure out why Joseph Mifsud was lying to the FBI. And here's the good news. Here's the good news. That's exactly what Bill Barr is doing. And thank goodness for that. That's exactly what the Attorney General and John Durham are doing. They're going to find out why we went through this three-year th three saga and get to the bottom of it. The time of the gentleman has expired. In a moment, we will take a very brief... OK, break. now that was quite an exchange, was it not? I need some interpretation and analysis from Judge Napolitano. OK, so Joseph Mifsud, the person that Jim Jordan, whose voice you heard, uh, was uh, claiming lied to the FBI, is a, a professor in Europe who many believe is an American intelligence asset. He's the one that runs into George Papadopoulos in a bar and says, by the way, do you know that the Russians have all this dirt on Hillary? You work for the Trump campaign. Maybe they should know about that. And that is what starts the whole thing rolling. Apparently, when Mueller's people interviewed Professor Mifsud, he misled them on certain things. And Jim Jordan is saying, you indicted Roger Stone. You yeah. indicted this one. You indicted that one. Why didn't you indict this guy? Answer, we're not allowed to discuss why we don't charge. Sub Rosa, we didn't charge the president. You don't want us to talk about that because the rules say we don't talk about why we don't charge. So Jim Jordan was making a very good point uh, that the whole thing started by a professor who probably yeah. was an intelligence asset well, and wanted to get this started, and you won't explain this to us. That's what the Republicans wanted to get into. Precisely. How did this thing start? Precisely. On whose work? They will get into it, but not in this forum and not through Bob Mueller, but through the inspector general and ah. the fellow that uh, Jim Jordan referred to, Durham, who's the U.S. attorney with the power to indict those who lied and started the investigation.